ladies and gentlemen. Hey everyone, this is Mash here with a tutorial on the AK-47 and the Deagle. This is going to be a follow-up on Xlabs tutorial on the AWP, and a couple people wanted the AK-47 and Deagle, so we decided that we're going to make a tutorial on that. So next uh, next tutorial I'm going to be doing is going to be on the M4, but for now we're just going to be starting with uh, the AK-47. Alright, so first off, the AK, there's going to be three situations in which you're going to need to use it. So first of all, first off, there's going to be burst fires, uh, second, spraying, and last is just going to be a well-aimed single shot. Uh, so burst shot's going to be used at when you're at a distance with an enemy, like here, say there's an offer there. Uh, you're going to be pretty far, so there's no point in spraying, the bullets are going to go everywhere. Um, and you're going to want to spray when they're close, so say they're up here, you're going to want to spray. And the last is going to be when you're going to do a single shot. So if an enemy takes you by surprise and they're trying to spray you, say, from behind you, if you jump, you screw up their spray, and you can single shot in their head because they're going to be crouching and their head's going to be very vulnerable. So first, I'm going to show uh, basic first shots. Uh, so when you're shooting, you're going to want to hold the crosshair pretty much where you think the head is going to be of the person who you're going to be shooting at. And you just do s two single shots like that and basically you're gonna want to do two shots and sort of spray uh, straight over so that you can be a hard target for the enemy to get you and continue that until the enemy is dead um, basically when you're actually shooting you're gonna want to stand still so you, your bullets are more accurate because when you're moving as you can see the bullets go random places uh, that's pretty much it for first shots. Okay, so next let's cover spraying. Uh, first off, you're not going to want to spray people at a distance, so somewhere like long, if you're going to spray, uh, it's not going to work very well. The bullets go very random. So as you can see, they're pretty much going everywhere. Now uh, wasn't holding steady, but there's no way you're going to be able to kill someone properly like that, and if you do, it's just luck. So we don't want luck. Um, so basically, you're going to want to spray when you're close. The best distance would be a right about here or anywhere closer, right? Obviously the closer the better. The closer you are, the more accurate your bullets are. See how they're all pretty much in the same place there. And here they're pretty random. Um, when you the longer you spray for, the higher up your bullets are gonna go. Um, because that's realistically what's gonna happen if you shoot a real gun. So what you have to do is the crosshair is gonna go down and it'll look like you're shooting too low. Um, however, the bullets will go correct where you want them. So you see there, all the bullets are in this general area, and my crosshair was way down here. And so as you're shooting, uh, you're going to want to bring the crosshair lower. Uh, the typical thing that's designed into the system is that your crosshair wants to go up. So you see how it just naturally went up. I did not do any resisting there. Um, you're going to want to not only resist to hold it still, but you're going to want to hold it down. Gradually move it down as you continue spraying. And as you continue spraying, there is a certain point where you no longer need to hold it down anymore. Uh, the main area you want your bullets to go for is the guy's head. So if he's crouching, maybe around that level. And if he's standing up, around that level. Right? Uh, you don't want to run out of bullets, so if you have only 30 bullets, or everyone only has 30 bullets in each uh, clip, so basically uh, you're going to want to try to get all the bullets as much as you can on the person and around their head for a headshot. Uh, basically that's the basics, just keep practicing it and you'll get a little bit better each time you spray something. So yeah, just don't spray at a distance, spray close, and uh, that's basically the basics of spray. Okay, so the last kind of shot that I'm going to teach how to do is a single shot. It's a lot harder and pretty much more risky, uh, but it can still save your life in certain situations. So, 
the main uh, situation that you're going to want to do a single shot is if you're taken by surprise. So if you're, say, watching here, say a bomb's down here, and you're watching from a certain direction, and an enemy comes from behind, um, you can't really react fast enough to get behind them and start spraying them to death. So if they're spraying at you from behind, what you can do is, is, is do some sort of movement to screw up their spray, so you can jump, do something, but just know when you're jumping you can't shoot. Um, so if you make some sort of movement to screw up their spray, and then take your time on a shot to their head, um, so if you can get the shot on their head, they'll either die in one or two shots, depending how far they are, which will save your life. Um, if you try to spray them, they will have the advantage because they began their spray on you before you began yours. And so most likely they will win unless you get some sort of a headshot. So that's the purpose of doing the headshot. Um, when he's crouching, the, it's most likely he's going to be crouching right here or uh, wherever he is trying to spray you. So when he's crouching, when someone is crouching, their head is very vulnerable. Um, so you can just aim, you can either crouch to get your, your aim level with his, and you can also strip his spray if he's trying to aim for your head when you crouch. Um, or you can just take the shot from above, you have an above angle, and your, your shot has more chance to hit if you actually shoot from above. And so that will give you the, the headshot on him. Um, if you miss the first shot, try again until you die, obviously. The other way to do this would be if, uh, if, if you sprayed him, you can view this as you did a lot of damage to him and an another teammate of yours can now take him down. So often you can you can just spray and uh, do as much damage as you can before getting taken down and um, that way at least you, you died with some sort of an advantage given to your team. Um, yeah. Alright, so that's about all I can teach you about the AK. Uh, just practice those things, try and get them a little bit better. Uh, so next up we have a deagle. So there's a few basic things you gotta learn about the deagle. First off, don't spray. Don't just go like this. As you can see, the bullets aren't all that close together, um, and a lot of times they will go very random. So take your time with your shots. Make sure that all your shots are on the person that you're aiming for. That's a pretty good steady rate, and as you can see, they're pretty much all on the exact same spot, whereas here, they're all very spread out. So if you aim properly with this, you can actually get headshots a lot. Um, three deagle shots uh, on the person will guarantee you a kill, as long as you don't get their leg twice. Um, four at a distance, so if they're really far away, like way over there, it could possibly take four, uh, four shots to kill. Um, yeah, And if you aim well, then you should always go for headshots, right? So you always you always hear people talking about one digs, right? So that's when basically a one digs is just when you take one shot. But that's not that important. What's important about it is getting the the actual headshot. Um, so if you aim it well enough, so you always aim um, the crosshair right on the guy's head, and if you aim it well enough, you'll get the headshot. Um, which, if they have no head armor, will always kill them no matter what distance you are. But if they bought head armor for the round, then um, it'll take two shots if they're at a farther distance. Um, yeah, Deagle is pretty random a lot of the times, uh, especially on certain servers. You'll see that your shots just go random places. So uh, sometimes it can be the server's fault, but usually it's not. Um, it's just the game. So, yeah, so practice with the deagle there's not too much that uh, I can help you with for that just practice a lot and you'll get a little bit better thanks for watching guys that was a mass tutorial make sure you subscribe so you can catch the upcoming m4 tutorial and uh, practice hard